A lot has happened in the last year for the Vinayas family. We've grown by one. I've grown by at least 20 or so. And the family is bigger, happier, and better than ever before. Oh, my, no. No, no. Uh-uh, not to leave her. She's going to lose all my stuff. She always do. You're not getting her. Chase is ready to try it. You have her fingers. Madison. Sorry. We used to have five children. Now we have six. Little Ryder. Hello. Hello. Oh. You might be falling asleep a little on you. You could fall asleep sitting up over Oh, oh. You know, I didn't really remember how the new baby thing worked. I know I've already had five children, but still you forget. I think it's God's way of helping you have another one because you would not have another one if you remembered all the horrible things that happened. Now, if they could stop, you know, I don't know, you can't run the microwave in the background while we're shooting. Get no microwave, can we run the microwave? Yeah. <laughs> so needless to say, since Ryder's four months old, I haven't slept in the last four months. Come to think of it, I really haven't slept in the last 10 years. 14 years. Yeah, lots and lots of years. It's been a long time since I've had good sleep. But you know, by the time you have your sixth child, a lot of things change. You know, when you have your first, if the pacifier falls on the floor, you know, pick it up, boil it, make sure it's really clean. By the second or third one, you might put it in your own mouth, clean it off, you know, think you get all the germs off. Oh, by the fourth and fifth one, mm -mm, you might wipe it on your pants and keep it moving. By the sixth one, they're lucky if you even clean it at all. You realize that children are a whole lot more durable than you expected around the first time. Jaden. Oh, you okay, buddy? Mm -hmm. Whole lot more durable. What? Yes. Jaden fell downstairs. Did he fall for real? Did he fall for real? Yes. And after having six children, I guess I'm a pro now. I'm glad to be one. I wouldn't have it any other way. We've got a great family, a whole bunch of children, a whole lot of love. No, no one looks like a real frump. It, Grandma, it's I'm not going on. Did she just make that word up? Was that a word? Frump is, but oh, it's not on TV. Mommy, can you scratch my back? Come on, Grandma. I know he don't have that camera pointed this way. <laughs> Grandma, come on. Oh, he don't have it. You gotta get on the camera. I'm on the camera because they made me get on the camera. My daughter did not cut my hair so I could look like a decent person on camera. Yeah. All she did was make herself went to the beauty parlor, did her kids hair, but she forgot about Granny, as usual. Okay, Grandma, come on. And that's all Granny got to say. Hey guys, it's Chase here, and we're, I'm gonna tell you a few things about me. Oh, this is when I ask you questions. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it seemed like you had a whole monologue ready or something. Okay, Chase. Tell me about your girlfriends. <laughs> Forget about that. And where did that come from? I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> okay, okay, Chase. Try to recover. Bring it back. My name is Kenny Fanai, and this is my style. <laughs> My name is Kennedy Ava Benayas. Reagan Lee Benayas. Okay, listen, Reagan, you've got the most personality, so please don't flop right now, okay? What do you mean your personality? Hey, everyone. Welcome to me, me Jaden, and McKenna. We're going to talk about ourselves. You coming up. No, I'm not. Okay, they're so shy. Only one thing. Um, I met Siobhan, his cousin Adrian called me one day and he was like, hey, my cousin wants to talk to you. And I was like, okay. 
Y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, Siobhan Nizzy Vinayas. Y'all could go ahead and just consider this my interview. Sir, are you a, a modeling or something? It's a photo shoot. Oh, <laughs> okay. Madison. Wait, I need my lip gloss. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for you to be applying lip gloss. Okay, Madison, you do realize that we're in the middle of a shoot, right? Okay, Chase. And do not do that. Who likes you at in your class? Um, hmm. Wait, which class? At school. Which school? And I like to do. <laughs> okay, sit up, sit up. Kennedy, what's your favorite color? Pink, blue. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I need a job. I'm broke. My phone is off. It's unavailable right now. Please try again later. I love our relationship. My car got repoed. I wouldn't trade it for the world. My tuition is due. It's $350. But it's alright, because I got a lot of talents. I think we're psychic. Like, we could read each other's brains sometimes. Chase, give me my mirror. Chase, 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 give me my mirror, please. Madison, is you... Is that your good side or something? Why you sit? <laughs> Is it? You tell me. First, do you have in your husband? One, two, no, three, I just, four. I just that. Five. What do you have in your you, seven? The good side. Like, you can have a grown up. Eleven. Jane, what else? We're not talking about that. One, two, three, four. Jaden, what are you going to be when you grow up? Big. <laughs> so, Reagan, who's your favorite sibling? Isabella. Okay, who would Isabella be? My dog. Okay, Chase, what's the most interesting thing about you? I'm smart. Smarter than all you people. First talent, I rap. This is uh, the revision. This is my first CD under Matchbox CNT, baby. Second talent, I sing. And then we got this one. This is the It's Your Boy Nizzy EP. Third talent, I act. I play Baby Jesus, Teenage Jesus. And adult Jesus in church. So you don't like any of your siblings? No, not really. How are you and Madison get along? Do you and Madison get along well? No, not really. Why would everything be wrong with you? Have to give me some example. Because she like comes in my room, and then when I go in her room, she's like, "Get out, or I'm gonna stab you in the eye." Get out my room. I'll stab you in the eye. That's why. She's really thinking about it. I know, that's the sad part. <laughs> that's how I'm growing up. You can be anything you like. A doctor, a true friend. Doctor and pig. Spider-Man, doctor, whatever you want. And you can everything. be anything. And that's good right. to be a grown-up. Oh, is, is it good to and, be a grown-up? It's good to be a grown-up every day. What's your parents think about you, Mom? Um. <laughs> you might have to say it in Spanish. <laughs> I put the mo into mogul. And I also, you know, brought the, the Nizzy wear, the hat. You know what I'm saying? You can have this. You go ahead and have this. I got another one. That's what I do. I don't know. Nothing positive for TV. <laughs> That's the purpose. The whole point. I make CDs. I do t-shirts. So what was the last thing your mama said about your mom? <laughs> he need a job. What else they need to know about me? Oh, I model. Check this out. Can you move the camera up? I wish somebody had some baby oil. You got me? You got me? I got some baby oil. Got some baby oil? Girl, put it on. <laughs> Girl, put it on. <laughs> Working on my body, girl. You know what I'm saying? And what did your father say? He need a job. And what language did they say it in? 
Spanish. Uh, so tell us, tell us in Spanish. What did they say to you exactly about your phone and his and name? Necesito un trabajo. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm also, this is another side job too, just in case y'all looking, I'm an acting coach. Jaden, come here. Come here. Let me show you. Come here. Camera's facing me. You good? All right. You ready? Let's practice our acting. All right. Mad face. <laughs> See how good he is? He's acting like he don't know how to act. Grandma's lived with us for the last three years. It's my mom. And I think we're very lucky because we actually have a good dynamic. She's as annoyed with Tony as I am. So tell us about how Tony gets on your nerves. Yes, he's very annoying. Tell the truth, Grandma. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. So help you guys. He walks into a room and he looks for things to complain about. Just the other day, he literally walks into the room, looks around, can't find anything, and he moves the breakfast table chair over one inch. One inch. He moves the chair over one inch. But he had to move I something. I fix the leg on a chair. No, you just moved it over one inch and then you left. No, I moved it so I could fix the leg. No, it was not the leg. Yeah. It's because you have to control everything and no, you have no, to no. fix everything. No, it's the leg on the chair. Grandma, does he not go around in the rooms looking for something? Yes. I have to. And we have six kids that make a mess and they don't clean behind themselves. You have six kids, so of course it's going to be messy a lot of the time. There you go. It's not something to look for. It's already there. Yeah, but why bother cleaning up throughout the whole day when you can just clean up at the end well, of the day? Well, who, who's talking? You can't clean up at the end of the day. Yeah, because it'll, then it'll, be, it'll be like horrible. Yeah, well, I, I don't want to clean. Mm. So you give me instructions about cleaning, but you don't clean? I know how to clean. Oh, I know well, what needs to be cleaned and the schedule of cleaning. We appreciate your opinions. Just we the ones cleaning. Doesn't Tony have a tendency to ignore you when you talk to him? And he acts like he done heard you, you done say nothing to him. Okay. And mommy's going to pick your husband for you, okay? Okay. All right. So what should mommy make sure that she picks out for you when she picks your husband? His hairstyle will be like that and black eyebrows. Regan, I'm going to pick your husband. No, you're not. Okay, let's try this again, because remember I told McKinley and Kennedy I was picking their husbands, and yeah. they said, okay. Yeah, because they don't know what that means. Okay, well, well I think I would be able to do a very good job picking your husband, yeah, so. Uh, I wouldn't think so. What would you like me to put on your husband? What kind of husband do you want me to put for you? None of them, because you're not picking him. Well, how are you going to pick your own husband? Because I'm going to pick my own husband. Wait, you don't now, Stephanie, are you in school right now? I am in school. I go to Full Sail University. Are you planning on having another baby? Hi, right, y'all. Check out this new song that I wrote. It's called Grammy Speech. When I win my first award and I do my Grammy speech, just know I do this for my family. <laughs> I write rhymes for my son, write poems for my mother. I'm just practicing my Grammy speech. When I win my first award and I do my mommy speech. I do this for my family. I go walking with my mother. I annoy one of my brothers. I'm just practicing my Grammy speech. When I first award and I do my Grammy speech. I do this for my family. with my father. I do everything for my daughter. I'm just practicing my Grammy speech. When I win my first award. And I do my Grammy speech. Just know I do this for my family. I teach fashion to my sister. And get fights with my sister. I'm just practicing my Grammy speech. Oh yeah. So everybody look at the camera and then on three you're gonna say right cheese over. or something. Okay. One, two, three. Cheese! cheese.
I know y'all want to call me back because I'm so funny, but since my phone ain't working, y'all gonna have to hit me up on Twitter. I still got Wi-Fi, so it's at Matchbox Nizzy. That's N-I-Z-Z-I-E. I'm out.